Flag is the Air Combat Command's premier air-to-service venue. And from a training standpoint, it doesn't get any more live than it does during this joint force exercise. Green Flag West happens here at the National Training Center at Fort Irwin, California. Desert. They're out here for up to 14 days while uh, performing with very little sleep and trying to integrate close air support, trying to drop weapons in close proximity of, uh, of friendly individuals while uh, you have rotary wing and uh, potentially tanks and artillery firing all at the same time. To make Green Flag West a reality, it takes both the 12th Combat Training Squadron stationed at Fort Irwin and the 549th Combat Training Squadron out of Nellis Air Force Base, Nevada. Together, they ensure that thousands of personnel working on the ground and those flying aircraft above are effectively communicating to meet their objectives. This isn't an easy task, as Green Flag includes not only multiple services, but also coalition forces. Because of this, the emphasis and the challenge is to train those involved to better synchronize their efforts with others. There is no way that any one student need to build relationships and mutual trust, both across the joint. In 2016, there have been seven iterations of Green Flag West thus far, with two more occurring before years in. From Fort Irwin, California, I'm Tech Sergeant Pete Wiley. Today we're out here at the National Training Center on Fort Irwin in California. We're at the 12th Combat Training Squadron, which is a part of Green Flag West. So Green Flag is an Air Force level exercise where we conduct close air support missions. Today we went out to execute a mission with the Brazilian JTACs that are here visiting for the exercise. We took them out to an OP and we had a couple of A-10s uh, overhead and we also had some Brazilian A-29 aircraft flying in the airspace. Working with the Brazilian JTACs was an awesome experience. It's good to see them controlling while they're working with the Brazilian A-29s and they did an awesome job together. The U.S. Air Force has been a very good benchmark for us. Being here with you guys gives us the opportunity to, of course, learn a lot, but we also can pass things that we do back there in Brazil about your, our techniques, our tactics. This kind of treatment also gives us uh, an uh, automatic elevation in our doctrine. It's always interesting to see how they're going to learn and it also goes vice versa. It allows me to take that kind of in my hip pocket and forward as an instructor. So it's always good to see that the positive impact that both the Army and the Air Force are having when we bring these exchanges. At first glance, it looks like pilots with the Colombian Air Force are giving their American counterparts a simple tour of the A-29B Super Tucano at Exercise Green Flag East. But in reality, they're showing off the most important aspects of an aircraft before flight. Egress procedures are a pilot's lifeline in the event that something goes wrong. The American pilots here know that before the wheels on this aircraft come up, they must know the ins and outs of this Colombian aircraft. Uh, just uh to see their tactics and how they're uh, going to solve some of the close air support uh, tactical problems we have. Other than that, yeah, it's, it's it looks a lot different inside, but uh, it's going to I mean, it's, it does the same same mission that we do. But it'll be uh, it'll be fun to see them see them in action. So it'll be it'll be an exciting ride. With day one of flight operations occurring in low visibility and potentially poor weather, knowledge truly is power. And with these two air forces exchanging their aircraft smarts, the power is expected to be unstoppable. From Exercise Green Flag East at Barksdale Air Force Base, Louisiana, I'm Staff Sergeant Katie Martin. It's time for flying operations to begin at Exercise Green Flag East at Barksdale Air Force Base, but the skies in Louisiana have been anything but friendly. After extensive mission planning and weighing the risks and benefits, pilots made the decision to press on with two ship flights during the late morning and early afternoon. It wasn't a decision that either Air Force took lightly, but the importance of these missions and the partnership between these two countries is paramount. It's very important for us, especially the partnership with the user force because sharing the different techniques and tactics and procedures in order to improve our skills. With both the Colombian and American pilots trained and ready to go, four A-29B Super Tucanos rev their engines, preparing to fly in two separate two-ship formations. Three Colombian pilots and one American suited up for each formation, and thankfully, Mother Nature cooperated with mission plans. All four aircraft experienced successful takeoff 
and pilots even broke through the heavy clouds to get a glimpse of sunshine. From Exercise Green Flag East at Barksdale Air Force Base, Louisiana,